Hi friends, this is Pastor Harley from the Broadway Church. I just want to share with you out of the book of Hosea, chapter 11, verses 3 and 4 read, Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk. I took them up by their arms, but they did not know that I healed them. I led them with cords of kindness, with the bands of love. And it became the one to them as one who eases the yoke on their jaws. And I bent down to them and fed them. Now the prophet speaks, and I'm reading, but the speaker is God. And he's talking about a whole people. He's talking about the history that God has with the people of Israel. He says, I taught them to walk. I taught them, taught them everything. They, they, their, their whole history, their whole life as who they are it begins with God's dealings with them. But they don't seem to know. They were broken and they've forgotten that they've, they've been healed. Uh, they were experiencing the harshness of the world and he gave them kindness. When God led them, he led them with what he says, cords of kindness and bands of love. The, the chief, chief uh, draw to follow after God was because of his loving kindness, his mercy. That God had come to, come to people with his grace and his love, giving more than they could ever give back. And then to mix metaphors, he says, as if they were a beast of burden, and I eased the, the burden on the, the yoke in their jaws. And I bent down and I fed them. The meaning behind this is, is God is saying, for a people who had turned away from him, a people that since they have had a prophet sent to them, that prophet is, is pointing out that they've not been faithful to God. God is making the case, what more could I have done? Or asking people to say, are you waiting for God to do more? Well, no, you should not be waiting for God to do more. The fullness of his salvation is ready for you now. All the answered prayers that you need today, they indeed will come. The, the, the resource and the spirit that you need from God is available. So let God teach you to walk. Let God be the one who feeds you. Let the, God be the one who eases your burden. And remember that he has done so. Be blessed.